就行起来做。It's well known that in the early part of the 20th century, many Jews came over to this country from Europe, or Jews who had already been in this country, and they had great sacrifice for Torah observance and the performance of mitzvahs, and yet they were not successful in transmitting these values and this sacrifice to their children. It is well known that Rav Moshe Feinstein explained this phenomenon based on the fact that. Often these parents would remark, "It's a schwer to sein a yid. It's so difficult to be a Jew." So children, yes, would see their parents perform the mitzvahs with great sacrifice, but when they would hear the parents say how difficult it is to be a Jew, the child says, "Okay, if it's so difficult, then who needs it?" It's important for a child to see not only the sacrifice of the parent, but that the parent is performing the mitzvahs with joy, with happiness. Because otherwise, it's not transmitted. For the Torah to be transmitted to the next generation, children have to see the vitality in mitzvahs to be Jewish and joyful. But conversely, imagine if a child would see how happy, how excited, how enjoyable mitzvahs are to a parent, how enjoyable the learning of Torah is to a parent. Imagine what wonderful generations we would produce. In fact, one of my favorite all-time stories is a story recorded in one of my favorite books. It's called Tales Out of Shul by Rabbi Emanuel Feldman. He writes that when he was a young boy, he came down on a morning, and his father was poring over a big Gemara, was learning Gemara. And as he's coming down, his father remarks to him, and now this is a young boy who would later become one of the great rabbanim. In America, Rabbi Emanuel Feldman, his brothers Rabbi Aaron Feldman, Rosh Hashiva Ner Yisrael. So you could imagine the impact their father had on them. These two great rabbanim. His father remarked to him, he said, "Mendela, us is azoy geshmak. The learning, the Torah, it's so enjoyable, it's so delectable, it's so interesting, it's so geshmak." When a parent speaks that way, and even more importantly, when the child sees. How enjoyable Torah mitzvahs is to the parent. Then the child says, "This is something I want. I like happiness. I like sweetness. I like excitement." And then the Torah is transmitted to the next generation. A Judaism that's Jewish and joyful is one that will be transmitted, and will be vibrant, and will be passed down until the end of time. Bracha v'atzlacha. Hi everybody, it's Arya Fingerer, and welcome back to the Jewish and Joyful podcast. There are many more incredible guests and content coming soon, so please follow and subscribe for more. Our podcast is available on all streaming platforms. I'd like to thank Arya and Mr. Bura for the revolutionary project that changed the world, the Hebrew English Mr. Bura, and to receive brief inspiration and beautiful Torah Shari Shabbos tables, subscribe to Parsha Knowledge by emailing parshaknowledge@gmail.com. Or you can visit parshaknowledge.com. For more information, please see the show notes. So thank you for listening, and have an amazing day.